Hey guys and gals, it's Shane Stevenson here at the Buffalo Naval Park and for today's video I'm going to be referencing that 1943 to 1945 blueprint that I did if you've watched the video about the crew head and that welded door that ain't there anymore. So again there's been a lot of interest. We do have a 43 to 45 World War II blueprint, All right, but that um, is usually kept under wraps because it's kind of fragile. And then what happens is with all the interest with the kid and with us getting ready to go to a ship's maintenance dry dock uh, program, uh, I'll be getting that digitized as well along with that 1956 one that you've seen plenty of times in the videos. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about the midship uh, deck house. All right, there's been a lot of changes. And I know this is something that the kid in Parks and I have talked about, uh, those two guys from the kid, uh, because they have a much more original deck house than we do. And so referencing the 43 to 45 plans, here's the quarter deck. Actually, this is looking forward that way. And what we see is the practice loader for the five inch. And you see this very narrow deck house. All right, that go it extends all the way uh, forward. And there's the two uptakes. Now again, in 1943 to 45, we had two quintuple torpedo tube mounts. One was removed in 1945 because again the plans called for us fighting Japan until 1947, 1948. So a lot of the destroyers came back uh, home to the west coast were getting refit and they removed the forward five inch quintuple and they put on two quad bofors. That's good. You don't really potentially need to expand the deck house from there. And then in 1956 we were refit again. So the mount 53 comes off. We've certainly talked about that. And the bofors come off up there and we get three full three inch fifties and that necessitated the need to expand this deck house moving forward and I'll tell you why. In addition to that extra weight now the, the ring mounts were meant to be interchangeable from the Bofors to the three inches but they were heavier and they had extra equipment. So let's kind of walk through this and I hope it will become clear. So what we're looking at is the original width of the deck house, all right, that we saw in the plans over there on the bulkhead. All right, this would be the original beam, but you can see, and uh, forgive me everybody, we have a lot of people on board today. You see it extends. And if you've been here, it's pretty clear to tell that it extends. This first initial extension was for the Mark 63 gunfire support computers. So if we take a look in here, you'll see the watertight airtight door right back there behind the hatch. That was gunfire support for the three inch fifties. But also, on the other side, the guy was gonna leave his wife it is also here. So we had two Mark 63 gunfire control systems for, for the uh, three inch fifties that were now up top. Now, one of those weird quirks is you'll see a nice riveted uh, shield, but then on the other side, there is, for some reason, this strange doghouse. It is of unknown origin. Did we build, did we put this here? I guess maybe we may have. So that kind of messes up the... So that kind of changes the symmetry of it. If you were to look on one side, it does look different, even though it's the same space, because, well, here's that shield again. 
right, with the rivet, but all of this stuff from here over has been constructed maybe by us. But then, heading forward now, <coughs> you'll see this extra uh, outcropping of the main midship deck house. And again, that's not here either. Nice pathway forward. So, the shipbuilders and modifiers put in a fan room, but also you need an Amplodyne room. If you saw the video from a few months ago where I'm in on top on the 01 uh, deck house, I talk a little bit about Amplodyne rooms and it's those batteries that would give an extra surge of power right, to help rotate, train, and elevate uh, the 3 inch 50s. So that had to be constructed here because right above us we had two twin 3 inch 50s. So now you're building out because you have, you have that need for an Amplodyne room. Now if we head to the other side, come along with me folks. We also had a build out. Now we have a passageway here, so that is not mimicked on the other side. But here's this the starboard side of the fan room. And so instead of an amplodyne room, we have the three inch radar space. Again, necessitating because of the 3 inch 50s that were directly above us. So you're building out the gunfire control spaces on port and starboard. You're building out a fan room this side and also can be accessed on the other side. Then you have on port, you have the Amplodyne room where here you have the 3 inch radar spaces specifically for the 3 inch radars to go to gunfire support. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm filming right here actually. Sorry. So, what we have is we're at frame 90. Alright. And you'll see that the extended deck house here on the main deck ends around frame 91 or so. Alright, but let's head to the other side. Now I'm cutting through the galley. So here is, might not be able to see it very well, but here's frame 90. So frame 91. Right where the door to the galley is. But you can see the extension does not come this far. It actually ends, let's see if I can find the framing numbers. It actually ends at 95 on this side. And again, you're kind of piecing things together. So not only do you have the Amplodyne room on this side, the fan room that's mimicked on starboard, but here's the laundry. And then you go back to the original deck house on this side at about frame 95. On the other side at about frame 90. Or 91. So it's still extended on starboard till about here. So that five, six feet. And this all comes about <laughs> because looking at those 43 to 45 plans, talking to kid and par uh, talking to Tim and Parks at the kid. Our 3 inch 50s, which is why it's so imperative for me to see that they come back and I'm working, I'm beginning to, uh, I've put in the application to NAVC 
for obsolete materials for the three inch 50s that we could get them back on the 01 level because all of this architecture here on the main deck not all of it of course but much of the center the midship deck house was adjusted for those three inch 50s and so to tell the story of 1962 as an interpretive year it would be great to have them back so narrow 1943 to 1945 and even extended beyond that just like all the Fletchers then when they put on in 1956 they put on the three inch 50s now they're building out the Amplodyne rooms, the gunfire support, the radar spaces, and that is all extending the beam of the midship deck house. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it enjoyable. Uh, please like, subscribe, and of course we'll be continuing to bring you updates um, of our ship maintenance dry docking plans for the Sullivans and the Croker. And I'll potentially continue to be referencing the 1943 to 1945 plans. I could not show you the 1956 plans that I've used a bunch of times in the past because it is at the company that will be digitizing it. But because that booklet of general plans is uniquely put together, they're taking their time and they've had the book for about two weeks now and they're trying to figure out how to remove the leaves without actually having to cut uh, the book in half or where each page unfolds out. So they do have the 1956 plans that they will be loving, lovingly uh, working towards not having to break the integrity of the book while still being able to scan and then I will be giving them the 43 to 45 plans as well. Thank you very much for watching and your support, and you know what, we will see you again soon.